Welcome back to another video. Today we're in a Man of the Adventure again, and uh, yeah, <laughs> let's just get into it, I guess. Okay, so, um, what is this? I don't remember where we left off last time, but I do remember that it was not this. So what do I do? Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Hi. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we are playing bandits. Wooly, you're a pretty boring bandit. Yeah, she has a point. Bandits hide all kinds of things in the woods. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden deep in these woods. So there's a teddy bear here. A cow here. And... Mr. Rooster. North! The X marks the spot. Yes, that marking matches the one on the map. Let's dig. Oh, great. Here we go again. Seriously, who is that guy? Is gonna give me a heart attack. Hmm, maybe I should get him to come back. What? Let's dig. Dang, that was rude. Bro, what? I'm trying to pause it and it won't let me. It, it, it keeps. What? We did all that digging for this? Maybe this was important to someone once, but not anymore. Ugh. Come on, Willie. Let's get out of here. Uh oh. Amanda? A little help here? Is that. What is that? Are you still up there? Is that a stuffed cow? Actually, you know what? what? No, I'm not done treasure hunting. I really thought we'd find something special and you didn't help me at all. So you'd better find something good for me. Do you have a treasure out there that will make me happy? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm scared. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> How would we cut wood with that? Guess it's a good thing we're learning about patience today. What can we use to cut the wood? Right! We'll use the saw to cut... Look, I'm doing my best to have patience with you. What can we use to put the pieces together? I don't remember her, like, making this outline. I think that would get pretty messy. Okay, I get it. The theme is patience. Oh, what? It doesn't mean you have to keep testing. Oh, life. okay. <laughs> what tool should we use to paint the bird? Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, this is new. How long have you been cataloging these? 
since I caught a sigil on the swing set in the background of the Let's Play Pirates episode. References I can make out, and most of them are subtle, but they're there, and lots of them. And usually paired with a message encouraging kids to uh, ignore their parents or, or do something harmful. Again, it's subtle. It's not something that's overtly dangerous, not in the context, and it's always under the guise of a new adventure. No police evidence? Not even footprints trailing off? No, nothing. Like, he just vanished. That was over eight months mm. ago. So I think they're talking about the show. Same story. So what's next? That's what we need to figure out. I mean, obviously we can't say anything. It's a kid's show, for Christ's sake. We sound insane. But every episode has some very harmful instructions, and there's a thread of content that runs across all of it. References to Belial, to Mara, to Iblis. Every world religion has a figure that tempts and manipulates and deceives. According to Kate's log, in the last 20 weeks of this kid's show, there have been over 40 mentions of these entities. It's a lot. Here? Oh, the lies? I can't even imagine. They provided two original tapes of the show, and they say there are more. Over the next few nights, I'm going to start combing those for more coded language. The puzzles, the anagrams, they seem to connect it to the cult. And based on what we have, I'm convinced that this is cult. the latest iteration of the one Caroline's family has been tracking for generations. The information we already have about the group ties it back to a religion that hasn't been practiced publicly in damn near. So we're saying that this production company has been around since the Middle Ages? What? Is that what we're saying? Hard to that. But why her specifically and why here? So Hamlet, the company Which that runs the show. has been around since the Middle Ages. We don't even have any conclusive evidence that would suggest that she's still alive. She's in there, Peter. I know she is. So these are different days because they're wearing different clothes, I think. And that's if it is actually Rebecca. It has to be. So no, Caroline, we don't know. We have to hit the pause button on this. We can't do anything that would give away what we're doing. Excuse me. I'm sorry, are you in charge here? So what's the plan then, Peter? We just keep meeting and talking? Yeah, What's Peter. I want to try to, Caroline, but we have to proceed with caution. The bottom line is, it's not safe. I mean, are we going to talk about David, or are we just going to pretend oh, he's no. not waiting around? If they're coming for me, they're coming for me. She's made contact with Kate. But we don't even know that it's her. It is, but she's too volatile. That's the tricky part. We don't know where she's coming from. Hey, we've been working on this what was that? Project. That that's gotta be good, right? Please. To something. This is a terrible idea. We should be lying low, not diving in. Right, you know what? This meeting's over. We're gonna take a break, and we're all just gonna come back when we can. What am I meant to do? To do. To do. We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. Huh, it looks like a. Um, what is this? First, we went to Paris. This up here last time, I just didn't see it because I'm an idiot. I swear this did not. This wasn't here. Hey, this is fun. Yes, 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 yes. Did I win? Okay, now what? Oh. 
Let's start the day. Was she dreaming that? Good morning, Birdie. I'm Amanda. Let's start the day. First, I need to make my bed. Will you help me? We need to fluff the pillows and smooth out the blanket. Which should we do first? Hmm. I always smooth out the blanket first. So far, so good. Now let's fluff those pillows. Thanks for helping me. It's nice not to have to do everything by myself. Every morning, I like to think about what adventure I might want to go on that day. What kind of adventure would you like to go on today? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. I didn't say anything, but okay. You found it. Jeans. Hmm. <laughs> When you're feeling bad, I wonder what that's about. What's taking you so long? To do what? How is it this hard to find a frying pan? Oh. Now, what can I use to cook the bacon? The refrigerator, the sink, or the stove? Great! Okay, next tape. <laughs> the blue tape. And you'll look straight into the camera here and smile. If I do this, you'll let me see her? We'll have to get clearance for that. Let's just say doing this will improve your chances. Wow. You know you just can't keep me in here. I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but people are going to be looking. Okay, I'm all set. We can go ahead with your safe. Being held hostage. What? Care of you while I'm away. You can. Tr I'm not gonna tell her she can trust you. You've got me locked up in here, and you want me to act like everything is okay. This is kidnapping. It's, it, it's coercion. Just it's say what's on the paper. Is this is kidnapping. It's coercion. It's well, if you wish. One of my associates will gladly provide you with a copy of your signed contract. You agreed to this. I did not agree to lie to my daughter. This is going to take some time. Because her goal isn't exactly cooperative today. But I got something right on the tape for him. Have you recorded all proceedings? Don't worry. Can you send someone down to the lockup room? Copy that. What's your authorization number? <coughs> So they tricked him into signing a contract and they put secretly something on the contract. Maybe they didn't trick him, maybe he just didn't read over it because he was so excited to get a cartoon. Huh. 
he's being held hostage somewhere. By Hamlin. Which is an old freaking company. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Amanda? Amanda? What do you want to do? I don't care. I don't feel right. Maybe doing something will make you feel better. I already tried drawing some pictures, but that didn't help. What do you do when you're feeling bad? I don't really cry, but... I wish I could. I feel like there's nothing left in me. Amanda? How about an adventure? What makes you think I want to go on an adventure right now? Are you even paying attention? I feel weird! Leave me alone! Well, I'm gonna go on an adventure in my mind. You can come along with me if you like. What's your favorite kind of story? Scary? Th th those kind of stories are too scary for me. Wow. I, I wish I hadn't asked. Okay. A story. Hmm. Once upon a time. Hey, why don't you help me tell the story? I can't pause. Do you have anything there that will help you follow along? Once upon a time, there was a brave knight. <sighs> it's okay. Take your time. Is that the choice you want to go with? Yeah. Um. That doesn't match the story I'm telling, does it? Let's get this story back on track. The knight went to see a wise wizard who delivered a dangerous quest. Are you even listening to my story? Okay. But what? Wait! They've helped me before. Give them a chance to try. Please? What what is happening? West. There was a dragon that guarded many riches in a dark, faraway cave. I'm not sure if I want to tell stories with you anymore. That whole story was just a bunch of nonsense! Why did you even waste my time? I'm having a terrible day, and you made it even worse! What? Die. Good for you. <laughs> what? Dragon roared! But the knight did not back down. After a long battle, the knight delivered a fatal blow and slew the dragon! Knight. Dragon. Have you made your pick? Yep. Wow! What a brave knight! Wow! What a creative story! Let's get to the grand finale! The princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. You saved me, she cried. She embraced the knight, and they traveled back to the princess's kingdom, where they lived happily ever after. So knight and princess. Okay, is that your selection? Indeed. Could that story have been any more boring? Why did you even waste my time? I just love a happy ending. Don't you? What? <laughs> Is 
that's a choice you want to go with? Once upon a time, there were a knight and a princess who loved each other very much. But one day, oh. the knight had to leave the princess. Oh, I did something. Um, where did that princess come from? Let's get this story back on track. The knight went to she was happy, though. Wait, she actually got happy a little bit. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Do you want to stick with this choice? Uh, I guess. The princess oh, yes. Every time the narrator comes on, I think that's a good she thing. Asked the wizard to help her see her knight again. No, the wizard didn't talk to the princess. The wizard talked to the knight to give them a quest. Okay, moving on. Wait, they're trying. Please. Okay. protection. Do you want to keep your choice? The wizard, being a bit of a trickster, transformed the princess into a terrifying dragon. Th that's not. Ugh. I'm liking where this is going. <sighs> Can we please try my story and then you can tell your own? <clears throat> okay, let's so basically I'm going off of these pictures on the back of the wall. Deep in the dragon's cave. Is this the choice you want to go with? In her new dragon form, the princess searched for her knight in hopes of reuniting. When she found him, the knight did not recognize her. She tried to call out to the knight, but only breathed fire. The knight slew the dragon, not knowing they were killing their true love. Oh boy, the knight is gonna regret that! <laughs> Where are you even getting these ideas? Have you made your pick? Right before drawing its last breath, the dragon transformed back into the princess. Horrified by what they had done, the sobbing knight embraced the princess's lifeless form. No! That's not it's so tragic! I love it! Keep going! No, that's not how the story goes at all. There was a big battle. The brave knight prevailed. And, and then... The princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. You saved me, she cried. She embraced the knight, and they traveled back to the princess's kingdom, where they lived happily ever after. Okay, is that your selection? Yep. <laughs> Lamenting that they had killed their one true love, the knight resolved to wander the world alone forever. Well, I tried. Wow, I actually feel a lot better after hearing that sad story. No! They helped me feel better. What? I did it right. Yay! You knew exactly what I needed to hear. Thank you. Wait, what is that book called? Okay, well, I have a hammer now. Do oh! Would you look at that?
here. This is new. Oh, that's how you get in here. What is this? We can fix it. What? I'm pretty sure I know what to do. Okay, let's see if this works. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Blabot.
Oh, Blapout was made by Hamlin. <laughs> I guess sometimes breaking things is a good thing. Amanda, the rest of this really is junk. Just let me look. <laughs> I really do not like that guy, but you should have seen your face. <sighs> I can't handle this anymore. anything it's nice to think so but we can't <laughs> i dare you to name one thing we can't fix my heart Ew. It's nice to tell yourself that, isn't it? Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda. Can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? Go away! Mm. You know... You have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? Really? You know, I think I actually believe you. There are lots of people I used to trust, but I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Amanda, 
You shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Wooly. It's really scary back here, Amanda. Sometimes it's good to go to places that scare us. You can learn a lot about yourself by facing something that scares you. That's dangerous, Amanda. There are other ways to learn about yourself. Uh, like, by having adventures with your friends. What's something that scares you? Really? Look at him. You can't be serious. Some people think strangers are really scary. But I don't feel that way. Um, Amanda? You know, you were a stranger when I met you. Uh, to, to be safe, you should never talk to strangers. And I trusted you. Riley, I'm almost at the front door. I think that thing is following me. Amanda, I don't know what you're trying to do back here, but I really Shut don't... Shut up! Wooly. Okay, I'm in. We need to get moving. Sometimes I worry about trusting new friends, though. Maybe I'm not quite ready yet. Oh, okay. Do you do this? Yep. I'm really glad you're okay. Let's gather the tape, quickly. I'll go grab what I can from the library, and then we've really got to get out of here. Uh, I guess I'll just scan the wall for anything. Wait, what? that do oh wait there's a green tape <laughs> I didn't even realize that Who is that? That Sam? Was that Rebecca? Who is that? That's Rebecca. Four, wait, is there four tapes or is there five like last game? Wait, I actually just guessed that. Three one eight three. I actually just. Clown. happening Good. You're okay. let's do what we came to do and get out of here uh 
What? Okay, well the mask fitter is dead and I'm I'm getting out of here. Bye. Joanne, is that the I masked figure? The letter I wrote, I, I was wrong. Riley, there is no higher calling. There is only suffering. Pain. 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 But Kate said Joanne's Please. dead. So it can't be Joanne, can it? So Maybe Kate's wrong. So is that how Kate died? Riley, I don't know what to. I, I am so sorry. She, Kate, died because of me. What did you do? Who are you? My brother was one of the kids who disappeared. All I wanted was to find him. And someone came to me to get Jordan back. I screamed at Kate to give me the tape. And then that creature. Who are you? Oh, it's Joanne. I pushed Kate out of there, begged her to run. I didn't want her to get hurt because of me, but then she... <sighs> I think it was protecting the tapes. We didn't know. Kate didn't know. And now I... I've led those psychos right to her house. They're the ones who burned it down. It was to destroy those tapes. I know it. I saw the letter she wrote to you. I know she trusted you to pick up where she left off. I will do whatever I can to... Riley, take these and get out of here. right behind you. I promise. Well, I think Joanne is dead. Wait, what is that? What is that? What was it? Was that Wooly?
was a sheep monster looking thing. I think that was evil wooly. So that was Amanda the Adventurer too. I don't know if I'm missing anything. If I am, go ahead and let me know. Um, and thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and get our merch. Become a member. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. <laughs>